Welcome back for part 22 in this narrated series of videos which sit alongside my GCSE science sprints on TikTok and YouTube Shorts. In this video, we're looking at the causes, symptoms, prevention and treatment of six of the different diseases that are named within your GCSE Biology or GCSE Combined Science specification. Now, this isn't a typical exam question. You're not going to be asked within the exam to name all of this information in one go. But any box on this slide could come up as a one mark question or you could get a slightly extended question where you're asked to compare and contrast either the symptoms or the treatment of two of these diseases. So if we start off by thinking about the pathogens that cause the diseases, measles, HIV and TMV are all caused by viral pathogens. And that's significant because it means that they can't be treated using antibiotics. Then salmonella and gonorrhea are both caused by bacterial infections, so they can be treated with antibiotics. And then rose black spot, which is a plant disease, is caused by a fungal pathogen. Then in terms of the symptoms, measles gives you a very high fever, but also a red skin rash. HIV has sort of two parts to the symptoms. So initially you have these flu like symptoms, but after quite a long period of time, what we call a latency period, then the virus starts to attack the immune system and the white blood cells. And eventually this leads to AIDS or autoimmune deficiency syndrome. And this is where your immune system isn't working properly anymore. So therefore you can't fight off infection. So when people have an HIV infection and then they die as a result, it tends not to be they're dying of the HIV. They tend to die of something like pneumonia or a cold because their immune system couldn't fight off that infection. TMV is a plant disease and um, the TM stands for tobacco mosaic. It doesn't just infect tobacco plants, but that's where it was first characterized. And the mosaic means you get this sort of yellow blotchy pattern where you have areas of the leaf where the chlorophyll is not being formed or where it's breaking down. Um, and therefore the plant is unable to photosynthesize in those regions. So therefore it's not capturing as much of the sun's energy and it may also lead to some stunted growth and just the plant being a bit less healthy because it's not able to capture as much energy as it would if it had fully green leaves. Salmonella, as you know, causes food poisoning. So that leads to fever, abdominal cramps, but also of course, vomiting and diarrhea. And gonorrhea is a sexually transmitted infection and it causes a thick yellow or green discharge from the penis and vagina and also pain when urinating. And rose black spot, as the name would suggest, causes purple or black spots on the leaves. So again, this is going to affect the ability of the plant to do photosynthesis, which may lead to it being a bit stunted. Um, and also eventually the leaves will turn yellow and just drop off. So for the viral diseases, we're mainly interested in how we can prevent um, people from catching them because we can't use antibiotics to treat them. So for measles, many people receive the MMR vaccine, which protects you against measles and mumps and rubella. But there are also single vaccines available. So you can have just a measles vaccine. And the idea of those vaccines is that you're being exposed to the pathogen or to part of the pathogen. So you have that secondary immune response even before you've met the pathogen sort of in the wild for the first time. Um, then for HIV, the primary method that we're going to use for preventing it um, is stopping people encountering the virus. So if they're sexually active, obviously HIV can be spread as an STI. So using barrier methods of contraception like condoms and avoiding needle sharing, um, but also treating people with antiretroviral drugs. So HIV is a type of virus called a retrovirus, which basically means it inserts itself into your DNA and then writes itself back out again. Um, and an antiretroviral drug is something that stops a retrovirus from being able to do that. Um, for TMV, we're mainly going to be thinking about removing those infected leaves, physically chopping them off and then making sure that we're cleaning the tools and potentially rotating crops. So TMV can infect a wide variety of plants, but not all plants. Um, and so if we're then using that field that did have tobacco growing in it um, and growing a different crop, then that's going to help to prevent the spread and sort of get it to die back down again. Um, then salmonella, we've said, is um, a bacterial one. So um, initially we want to think about um, washing hands, um, also thoroughly cooking food and also vaccinating poultry, because as you probably know, one of the major places that we tend to pick up salmonella infection is from where people have cooked um, some chicken, not very thoroughly, and they've eaten it when it's um, when it still has salmonella on it. So if we vaccinate the poultry, then the poultry doesn't catch 
salmonella and therefore you can't catch it when you eat that uh, that chicken or turkey or whatever it is um, then gonorrhea um, being another sti we want to use barrier contraception and then we can treat it with antibiotics but as you're probably aware um, there are some strains of gonorrhea that have become resistant to antibiotics so that's obviously a really big concern and then with rose black spot a bit like tmv we're going to think about um, removing leaves and things but we can also treat it with fungicides thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you back again on wednesday for the next chemistry installment in this science sprint series if you are finding the videos useful, then don't forget to like and subscribe for more GCSE science videos coming soon.